السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ بسم اللہ الحمد للہ وصلاۃ وسلام علی اشرف رسول اللہ ڈیئر بردرس اینڈ سسٹرس اٹس می عبد الباسط فرام کیرلا ویلکم ٹو مائی انگلش کلاس آف اسلامک اسٹڈیز ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن دا سیکنڈ چیپٹر آف دا فورتھ اسٹینڈرڈ اٹس حقوق المسلمین ڈیوٹیز آف مسلمس مسلمس آر بردرس and sisters there is no doubt in order to strengthen the relationship among the muslims the messenger of allah prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has instructed us to keep up certain manners we have to keep up certain manners uh, to uh, strengthen the relationship among the Muslims. So here we are discussing the most important of them. The first one is to say Assalamu Alaikum when we meet or part. We have to say Assalamu Alaikum when we meet someone. And the second one is to accept if invited. If somebody invites us to any function or to any kind of program we have to accept his or her invitation and the third one to say ya rahmukallah when a muslim says alhamdulillah after sneezing sometimes uh, we sneeze and we is somebody if somebody sneezes and says alhamdulillah we have to say ya rahmukallah And the fifth one is to counsel if it is sought. If somebody comes to us and he asks, uh, he seeks uh, any counsel, we have to counsel. And the fifth one, to visit one who falls ill. So we have to consider the patients around us. We have to visit them. And the sixth one is to to follow the janaza if a muslim dies so if any deaths are happened around us we have to uh, go to their home and uh, follow their janaza so these are the six things that is known as the duties of muslims islam gives much importance to brotherhood it's very important Muslims are brothers and sisters. Nothing should be done that spoils the brotherhood because it's very important as far as uh, the Muslims are concerned. So we don't want to do anything that spoils the brotherhood among the Muslims. And we shouldn't annoy anyone by words or deeds. nobody should be heard by our words and deeds it's unlawful to shun a muslim brother for three days without a valid religious reason we can't do it we can't live uh, making a muslim uh, away from us without a valid religious reason and It's recommended to say Assalamu Alaikum saying Salam Assalamu Alaikum when we meet or part is one of the duty of a Muslim. So and it's recommended to say Assalamu Alaikum on meeting and on parting. And it's also recommended to shake hands. It's called Musafahat in Arabic. To say salam is sunnah, but to return it by saying wa alaykum salam is obligatory. It's wajib. Returning is wajib. In return greeting, it's preferred to say wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So it's preferred to say uh, when we return the salam. In greeting with salam, the following procedure 
is recommended. The younger ones should say Assalamu alaikum to elders. Younger one want to do it to the elders. Those who walk should say it to those who stand. That's also recommended. And those on vehicles should treat those who walk. We should not say written salam to morally corrupt person like Farsiq. We don't want say salam to them, wish salam to them. And to one who is involved in reprehensive innovation, that's called bidat, that's also not needed. And it's not recommended to say salam to persons who are in toilet. If somebody is in toilet, we don't want to uh, wish him with salam. Or engaged in adhan or in eating or drinking, we don't want to wish them with salam. If somebody tells them assalamu alaikum, uh, they need not return uh, who the persons uh, in the toilet or engaged in adhan, eating or drinking, they, uh, they don't want to retain the salam. So that's all about today's class. If you want online madrasa class in English with the help of a personal trainer through Google Meet or Zoom, you can contact me in this number. So see you in the next class. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.